Verse one is a wrap. We're done. We've spent a week looking at one verse, looking correctly, looking intently at what God says, learning what God means when he refers to a bondservant and when he refers to the 12 tribes that were dispersed abroad. Now, today, we want to pull everything together so that we can walk away with understanding and apply what we've learned to our lives. So before we begin, let me just give you a picture for clarity. You know, in Jesus' day, a slave was treated like a member of the family. They were treated with integrity. They were treated with dignity, with respect. In fact, the master loved his slave so much so that he provided absolutely everything for that slave. He treated him with kindness. He helped him. He cared for him. But at the end of seven years, the master would have to release that slave. He would have to set the slave free according to God's word in Deuteronomy. But oftentimes, a slave would choose to stay with his master out of love, wanting to serve his master permanently for life. Well, if that be the case, they would have a public celebration and they would take the slave to a door or a doorpost and they took an instrument, a pointed instrument that was called an awl, and they would drive that awl through the slave's ear, making a hole. And that hole was the mark on that slave that all who saw him would know that he had chosen to stay with his master because of his love for his master and he wanted to be bound to his master for life a bond servant. So consider that picture today as you go in and you answer the live question, are you a bond servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ? How sold out are you to Jesus?